Hello everybody, Rise Dragon here, and welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. I just have to get these next- I've been thinking about this too much. My brain is going numb. Ow. I should get some rest. I'm a little behind on the, um... Yuito, wake up! Wataru is on the line. <sighs> Sorry. I only meant to take a little break, but it looks like I fell asleep. So, Wataru, what's up? Yeah, I'm behind is on the episode fact that we snuck into the old OSF no. hospital going to be an issue? No. Major General Fubuki was able to take care of that for us, so that's not a problem anymore. It might not be a big deal, but I thought I should let you know about the hole in Kunat Highway. Now that you mention it, there was something strange in the sky above Kunat Highway. I guess you could call it a hole. So much happened after that, I'd forgotten about it. So what was it? The government is calling it the Kunat Gate. A survey team took a look, but aside from the extremely localized gravitational anomaly, they don't know anything about it. It's just that it has similar characteristics to a black hole, so that area has been deemed off-limits. Kunat Gate. Nothing could be seen on the other side. It was unsettling. You might not go there, but I figured it's better to know about it than not. That's true. Thanks for telling me about it. If you learn anything more, please let me know. As you wish. Oh, I almost forgot. Yuito Platoon's next orders are to stay on standby. So you can hang around the hideout a little while longer. Really? Then I think we should do just that. Yes, that is a good idea. Knowing Fubuki, I'm sure he arranged all of this. So I think it's best to comply. Mind if I come in? Major General Fubuki, how did you find this place? I told him. I thought it would be safer to talk here in the hideout rather than meet in the safe zone every time. Thank you, Luca. I managed to sneak past their surveillance, so we should be fine for a little while. They started... monitoring you? I told you before that I was a government dog. But I don't have to be a dog anymore, now that Karin's gone. What do you mean? Karin's personality didn't make him popular with the government. The top brass has been targeting him for elimination or personality rehabilitation for some time now. That's why I took on the role of being the government's puppet, directing the OSF in Karn's place. So, does he... He doesn't know that I had to become his monitor in order to protect him from the government. Besides, even if I told him, he'd probably just tell me to stay out of it. To be honest, I'm a little relieved. I don't have to be the government's yes-man anymore. Government surveillance will be stretched thin after Seiron's uprising. I don't plan on missing this opportunity. I should be able to bring change to this country by taking a different path from Karin. Different path? What are you planning on doing? This country is aggressively pursuing power research through illegal human experimentations. I have no idea why. They can get away with it because the government has complete control over information. Even the media is under the government's monitoring and influence. I want to find out why they would do this, and free this country from its corrupt system. Karin joined forces with Seiron, and rebelled against the state to do the same. However, I feel that collapsing the government system from the inside is the fastest way to results. My brother is trying to change this country from the outside, while you're trying to change it from within. Yes. Feigning loyalty allows us opportunities to learn valuable information. We should be able to find out what the government is hiding through the city computer Arahobaki. Please, let me help you. I want to know what my father has done, and what my brother is hiding. Yuito, you are the commander of this platoon, and a commander's number one responsibility is to their platoon members. If you attempt to pursue these government secrets, it will undoubtedly put your platoon members in danger. Are you fully aware of that? Then please, remove me from command. I can't do that because, for better or worse, there are many eyes on you. 
There's also the fact that your post was specifically ordered by Chief Kaito Sumeragi. Well, if we all agree with what Commander Yuito is doing, then it doesn't matter. Yama! Either way, my time with the OSF is drawing to an end. I'm getting too old. But before I leave, I want to uncover the truth. I want to know why that happened to Naomi, and why Nagi received personality rehabilitation. I agree with Gemma. If you're going to try to uncover the government's secrets, then I would like to help. I was also subjected to this country's human experiments. What do you mean? My brother Karin and I received power enhancement treatments. I had no idea. If Huito can't be removed from the platoon, then you can remove the platoon members instead. Any member who doesn't want to take part in this can simply be assigned to a different platoon. Fine. I can't very well turn down your help now. However, reorganizing your platoon requires paperwork. So I will issue you an official deployment order in the meantime. Please gather intel around the Seiron area. I've heard OSF deserters are appearing around Mizuhagawa. Former OSF members sympathetic to Seiron's cause could be up to something. While you're investigating, I will take the steps necessary to reassign Hanabi and Sugumi to a different platoon. What? Oh. Okay, get to it then. Yuito, I'll stay in the platoon as the operator. I feel the same as you and Gemma. I'll help you stop the government from doing whatever they want. Thanks, Wataru. Mizugawa. I remember the last fight I did in fucking Kasane when fucking ballistic with her goddamn shit. And uh I can't I keep forgetting the buttons. We've been spending a lot of time together recently. There's a chance that oh. Seiron OSF patrols might show up beyond this point. Let's keep our eyes open. Were you serious about what you said back at the hideout? About helping Major General Fubuki? Right. Because wouldn't that mean going against your brother and your late father? I'm... staying in this platoon. What? Sugumi. What happened to Naomi was terrible. And if the government had something to do with it, then... I won't let them get away with it. Hold on. Incoming <laughs> others from the front. <laughs> Hanabi, Sugumi, ah! we'll talk later. For now, let's clean up the other side. You're right. Understood.
Are there any more others? Eat shit. I'm not reading any. Verizon Wireless. <laughs> I hope you die. I probably Yurito, will. Are you okay? Wait, what the fuck happened? Where are we now? When did I collapse? Huh? Yeah, I didn't take too much damage in that fight. What are you talking about? You suddenly said your head hurt and stopped dead in your tracks. Huh? Did you black out again? Do you remember what we were talking about? Hanabi asked me if I was really going to help Major General Fubuki, and then Sugumi said she was going to stay in the platoon. And after that? After that, we got attacked by others, so we obviously didn't talk about anything. <laughs> right? You don't remember Luca and Gemma's stories? What did they talk about? About my aging, and the experiments Luca was subjected to. <sighs> Sorry, I don't remember any of that. Did you really talk about that? Yumito, I was listening, so I can verify. I'm not seeing any abnormalities to your status, so maybe it's just mental exhaustion, like the doctor said. The more you use your power, the more you tax your brain. It might be better to avoid fights right now. I can't do that. We have our assignment. Ah, oh, shit, my dude's losing his mind. You Are you really crazy. okay? Snake boat. Ginger. Huh? My real life what? became a video game. Flex ping. Table slug? What? None of the words are matching what I'm thinking. Apple home child. I see an abnormality in his cranium. What's going on? His speech is impaired. His brain must have experienced a great amount of stress. Well, what can we do? Apple we have the medication child. the hospital so provided. That's how you tell the ampule seems fishy. Crazy. It looks exactly like the ampules <laughs> we found at the abandoned subway. Shit. Everyone, be careful. You have an other closing in on you. Timing couldn't be worse. Stay here and rescue Ito. We'll handle the others. Damn it! My head feels like it's going to split in two! power at all. I won't even be able to fight. What can we do? Is there some way to cure him? Do I drink it? Yuito! <laughs> no time to be squeamish. That other's gonna kill me if I don't take this. I have to! <laughs> Yuito? Did he drink the medication? Sugumi! I'm looking now. Oh, the abnormality in his cranium is starting to disappear. This medication is really working. Uh, my head is starting to hurt a lot less. Yuito! I can understand what you're saying now. Can you fight? Yeah, I'm good to go. Let's take them out. I can move. It doesn't hurt as much. I can do this. Good. I was too excited. <laughs> Next. Go. 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 More. 
on my end. How are you feeling, Yuito? I feel fine now. I know I had you worried, but I'm glad I took it. Honestly, I wasn't going to be any help in that condition. That makes sense. And I'm not seeing any signs of side effects either. Perhaps there was no need to worry about the medication after all. Well, it smelled weird and tasted really bad. Are we going to continue on our assignment? Shouldn't we go back to the hideout and rest a little bit? I'm oh, fine. Yeah. My powers are working normally again. I'll let you know if something feels off. Let's keep going. Copy that. But please don't push yourself too hard. Promise me. Okay. I promise. I love how she says she's sending it to everybody else, but I'm still seeing it. There's a resource reading near here. What do you want to do?
to use this. Still fight. You guys good? Wait, there's something <coughs> up ahead. The extinction belt is thick above that area, so I can't detect anything from my end. Any other information? I think they're trucks. Two of them. They're moving towards Ceyron? Hmm? What is it? Um, I thought I just saw something inside the truck bed. Although, it was probably my imagination. Okay, I managed to tap into a nearby surveillance camera feed. Those are OSF transport vehicles. Enemy or ally? UHL Platoon is the only OSF team deployed near Mizuagawa. Then I guess that means they're Seiron's OSF team. <gasps> I see two individuals heading towards us. It looks like Kagura and Kyuka. Of course, they're invisible. Be careful, I'm not picking them up at all. All right, right. here they come. Right. Take that. <laughs> Too late. I wonder why Kyoka and Kaguro attacked us. I thought that Kasane was the one after Yuito. Is it because they're on Kasane's side? Or some other reason? Or Barnas, please be careful. Here we go! Please, 
Oh, this rate. Now my old trusted commander is my enemy. Yes, you are a good soldier. I didn't want it to end up like this. Yeah, it's too bad. I can still fight. Stronger than anticipated. Let's go. We did what we needed to. Were Kyoka and Kagero guarding this area? Could it have to do with the transport vehicle? They were clearly stalling for time. I'll try to follow them. Sugumi, could you send me their tracking data? I can't. There are so many Kagero's and Kyoka's. They're all going in different directions. That's Kyoka's duplication power. They're attempting to confuse us. I'm sorry. It's going to take time to identify the real pair. I also lost sight of the transport vehicles. I hate losing. It was a diversion to hide the transport vehicle's destination from Sugumi. Which direction were the vehicles going the last time you saw them? I think towards Seiron. They must have been carrying something important if they made sure we didn't follow. We might be able to find out some key information. Give me some time. I'll see what I can find out with Tsugumi's information. Yuito, there's a place I want to check out, but it's in a different direction from Seiron. It looks like the duplicates are all avoiding this area. I can't be sure, but it seems suspicious. Nice catch, Wataru. Okay, we'll go check it out. I'm gonna have to change out Luca. Luca's kind of uh, fucking shit up real for for me. <clears throat> what is this place? There's nobody here. Hey, I see the transport vehicles. Yeah, I think then this they, must be else it. Did too. We're pretty far from the city. Do you think this is still Seiron's facility? I can't seem to find any information on it at all, which only makes it more suspicious. Looks like they haven't noticed us yet, but I do feel a strange presence here. I can't really put it into words either. I will go check the vehicle. Sugumi, Wataru. Please cover me. Hey, Yuito. Are you remembering things okay? What about your speech? Any headaches? I'm okay for now. No need to worry so much. You are making sense. It's natural for her to feel worried. Don't push yourself too hard. You've always had health problems, ever since you were little. That's right. You did mention that before. Yeah. I spent most of my early childhood inside a hospital. They finally let me leave when I was around five, and I've been fine ever since. Wait, Luca found something quite alarming. What do you mean? It's another! I know what the transport vehicles are carrying. A briefcase. Human heads! That or can't that. be! The transport vehicle was filled with these. No, I thought... I was just seeing things, but they're really... One of the trucks was already empty, but I believe it was carrying the same thing. Two trucks worth of human heads? What in the hell for? Let's try sneaking in a little further. Kasane and her team might be here. Okay. We need to find out why they're doing this anyway.
to that because that's going to give me my third slot and then uh, everything else is oh that'll actually be handy so will that oh hey double jump <clears throat> I assume the more I go through this, eventually I'll most likely open all of this, so I'm just going for like what I feel would be a necessity, which is this. I've already got max gauge. Um, I'm going to need all of the brain field stuff. won't open. I guess sneaking in is going to be harder than I thought. I can't use my clairvoyance on any of these doors. Hmm. What? <laughs> Damn. Forgive the rough treatment. Don't worry, we only knocked him out. He won't be waking up for a while. Wow! All three of you were amazing! Thanks. I couldn't even move. I'm glad I have people like you who can make such quick decisions. Hold on. This might be a key card for the door. <clears throat> nice find, Sugumi. We shouldn't have a problem getting in now. This puts us in enemy territory. I need to be ready for anything. Okay. Let's try this door. It's already open. This key needs a key card to open, I think. Do you need help? Oh, that, that was dumb. We've become indispensable to each other.
a resource reading you here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can hit it!
to a, like a computer system for their powers. Do you need help? No. No. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not a robot, he's a human. He's <laughs> a hentai monster. <laughs> I gotta go find door number three. There's no data on this facility, but a long time ago there was a plan to develop an academic city nearby. It looks like an art museum was already built, so maybe they're using that. Here it comes. You should use my power. That attack worked. There must be a weak spot. Here we go. 
Key card number four, eh? I can't get this done. Wee -wee -wee -wee. Nope. <laughs> nope, what? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's gonna say, fuck you, bitch. Go, Dewey Tom! Did I really? Did I forget something in a room? Some help, Luca! The, the, the outfit is originally black, I just got things from Square for it. Square said, We love you! Oh, oh, it gets worse. Uh, there's gonna be a point where I have to use something, and it's so much worse. Let's regroup! No, he uses, uh, psychokinesis. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so... For him to use other people's powers, that's what happens. He connects to the software and it allows him to use it. I meant to save. Save me, Mister Archivist, or whatever the fuck you are. I should have brain stuff. 
Okay, that's that. the wrong way. An OSF member is always ready to deploy. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I must have to go downstairs. Level zero experimental division, what the fuck? I'm confused. It's brain juice! What is this facility? It looks like some sort of assembly line. Hey, those boxes. Aren't they the same ones from that transport truck we saw? <laughs> what is it, Sugumi? Does it contain what I brought earlier? A human head. You've got to be kidding me. All of these? What in the world is this place? Others are being held in this building. And others feed on human brains. Even if that's the case, why does it seem like this factory processes the brains? I hate to say it, but couldn't they just toss in the whole head if they're just feeding them to the others? This smell... Where is it coming from? It does smell a little strange here. Almost like... blood. Those ampules! I think... I'm going to be sick. This can't be real, right? Those were made by Spring Pharmaceuticals. Looks like Kyoka couldn't lose you. What is this? I think you've already figured it out. This is Spring Pharmaceutical Seiron Factory. To be more accurate, it's an other research facility they run jointly with the Seiron government. They're using these heads to make their products. <sighs> Shiden, stay calm. Just concentrate on stopping Yuito. Wait! Let's talk! Hey! God damn it. First you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me. 
Now you're trying to hide this cool place? Don't you feel anything I'm seeing sorry. what's going on here? What are you all thinking? Time to use this. Take this! character dies if there's a party that's not how it's supposed to go <sighs> shut up I'm gonna have to use <laughs> first you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me now you're trying to hide this cool place don't you feel anything seeing what's going on here what are you all thinking <laughs> Okay. You won't get away. This is bad. What the fuck? But now you're trying to kill Yui Tou and trying to hide this facility. What happened to you? This isn't like you. Still fun. Shut up. You don't know anything about anything. Oh, 
out of human heads is crazy we have to stop them i did not consent to this <laughs> but naomi she needs this you didn't you she, what do you mean you're a mod what you don't is have this a facility choice. for consent That's... is not needed <laughs> <sighs> i can't take this anymore i'm telling them everything no i will this place is an <laughs> other research facility run jointly with Spring right. Pharmaceuticals, just like Arashi said. Human brains of yes, people with yes, powers are being brought said here. A portion of them are transplanted into others to turn them into other weapons. <laughs> the rest are turned into a medical solution to feed the others. <laughs> That's horrible. Hey, are you really sure about Seiron? I know New Himuka has a lot of its own issues. It's not right that the government monitors everyone and controls all the information. But Seiron causing the uprising, that's just as messed up. Can we really let them get away with transplanting human brains into others? Or processing the brains into robot. drugs? He still can't get He just restarted. No, he can't, obviously. <laughs> that being said, there are in fact some no, people who have been forced to accept me. it. Like my brother. He put his hand on my back. And it then there's like Kasane. Rez. People whose loved ones have like been turned into others. Like, arise, they depend arise. on that medication. Human-born others can temporarily regain their senses when they take that medication. Even letting them talk. <laughs> that motherfucker. Does Karin have a family member that's been <laughs> metamorphosed? <laughs> no, not a family member. As Luca or Shibuki <laughs> mentioned it. Alice? <laughs> <laughs> Yuito! His brain is... Yuito! Yuito? Is this happening because I used my power? My head is killing me! Are you okay? Applewood child wrong? or something. What's wrong? You look like you're in pain. There's something wrong with Yuito's brain. He's beginning to show signs of speech and memory impairment whenever he uses his power. I'm okay now. The pain is fading. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is... <gasps> Damn. Sorry to interrupt, but you need to leave now so we can call this a draw. Hurry up or the others will come. We should leave too. That okay with you, Kasane? Yes. I miss what the Yuito, fuck is happening. our assignment is complete. We should withdraw. Yeah. We should get out of here as soon as possible. Robots are invading. Wataru said he would report to Major General Wataru. for the for you. It's Wataru. Okay. Like uh, water. Sorry. I know I should be the one to do it, but I'm just not feeling well. What are you talking about? It's okay. Don't worry about it. We all know how you feel. No, that's not they exactly true. I can't understand how much pain you're in. 
I probably would have taken the ampule too if I were in your shoes. Blast for me! I know saying that to won't help with whatever guilt or disgust you might be feeling. Thanks. I'm okay. The medication should be chemically processed, so consider them more like protein or amino acid supplements. It may be unpleasant, but looking at them this way might help you come to terms with it. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but it's just hard for me to do it. I know it might be difficult, but whatever you do, don't throw them up. What? You knew? We... well... we saw it happen. You were outside the hideout. Oh, we're sorry. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I know it's not in my stomach anymore, but I just couldn't... It's fine, but you have to fight through it. You can't make it a habit. You're right. Besides, Naomi... It must be so much harder for her. Being turned into another is awful enough, but now she has to... feed on these brains? I don't know where she is right now, or how she's doing. When I think about her, I know how much better off I am. If Naomi hasn't given up, then I can't either. I know I can get through it. After you do get through it, you'll be able to help support Naomi when you see her again. Yes. You're right. I... I need to get it together. I'm just wondering if New Himuka is stocking up on those ampules, knowing full well what they're made of. If that's the case, and they do indeed know, then they're going to have to answer to me. No. I have a feeling that New Himuka already knows everything. I just can't get myself to accept it. I'm sorry. Huh? You don't need to apologize. You have nothing to do with the hospital. I know, but I just wanted to apologize. I want to look into the hospital and do something about it. This is a tough position for the both of you. You too, Luca. Everything Karn has done must be hard for you. Sugumi had to see a lot of things she never wanted to as well. I think we've all had our fair share of suffering. What's important is that we continue to support one another, right? Yeah. Sorry I worried everyone, and thank you. I don't think I've spoken to Hanabi lately. I don't know what to tell you, Yuito. Just try not to do everything on your own. If there's too much to handle, let me help you pick up the slack. That's what a team is for. Thanks, Wataru. Alright, I've got bonding. I've got, I've got bonding quest. the controller. So these are time sensitive, so I have to do them. Okay. I keep forgetting I have to back out of the menu to fucking, you know, get. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry about what <clears throat> happened in Mizu Hagawa. You don't have to apologize. We both had our reasons, so no hard feelings. I'm glad to hear you say that. I really wanted to go easy on you. You were a lot stronger than I anticipated, so I couldn't afford to hold back. Did you get hurt? You don't need to worry so much. I wasn't hurt, and even if I was, I could give myself first aid. Wow, that's impressive. I've always studied all sorts of things, so I could do anything on my own. I see. I do remember you having a good head on your shoulders ever since you were little. 
Hmm? Since I was little? How do you know what I was like when I was little? Oh, I was just imagining it. I'm sure that's what you must have been like. Why is she so panicked all of a sudden? I suppose I shouldn't doubt her since she's just worried about me. Anyway, I'm totally fine and I can take care of myself. Really, it's okay. <clears throat> all right. I'm sorry I'm such a worrier. I'd just like you to make one last promise to me. Stay away from Togetsu. Togetsu? Why should I promise that? I can't tell you why, but something dangerous might happen to you if you go there. I can't make a promise without knowing why. You have a point. I'm so upset that I can't do anything about it. I don't know what you're hiding or what you're trying to say to me, but I can tell that you're worried, so... Thanks for looking out for me. Be careful, Yuito. You too. Get these out of the way. So, you said you wanted to test this battle support program? Yeah, I want you to try it out. Is it safe? That's what the test is for. We don't have much time. Let's get started. I'm installing it now. Okay, it's installed. Try using your power. Power? Uh, okay. I can lift up this cup. <laughs> What's going on? I'm seeing noise. Calm down. It'll go back to normal once you stop consciously using your power. Oh, you're right. That really surprised me. Nice. It was a success. What is this program? When it detects power usage, it affects your visual senses to discourage its use. I call it the Forced Break Program. What? Why did you make a pointless program like that? It's not pointless. If you apply various conditions to the program, you'll be able to restrict overworking. It's even more effective with an organization like the OSF where powers are necessary. Nobody can be working 24-7. In other words, I considerately made this program so people can use it as an excuse to rest. I still think it was pretty reckless to stick it in my head. Anyway, you can't fight now, which means you have to rest. Enjoy your free time. Well, I am pretty tired. Why don't you order something? Nothing like eating your favorite food into a food coma. Okay, then. This bitch. I guess I'll take a break. Although, I've got tons of problems I should be dealing with. I wish Nagi were here. <sighs> What's with all the sighing? Am I that boring? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean anything like that. There's just so much happening that I'm having a hard time relaxing. I don't know how to deal with it. It's easy. Just do whatever it feels like your body wants to. You know, like this. Just lean back. Ugh, that's so relaxing. You try. Wow, that's quite the position. I wish I saw you like this before I enlisted. What's that supposed to mean? Before I enlisted, I only knew you through the press. You were so friendly and lively. That's when I'm on the clock. This is me off the clock. If you don't know when to switch between the two, you're going to break down. I make sure to stay off the clock as long as I can so I don't break. 
I think you should do the same. Thanks for your concern, but I can't just... I see. I'm not trying to push anything on you. I apologize, but I learned a lot. Wait, did you uninstall the program? I'll try to tone down my advice from now on. Time to call it a day. She does it so she doesn't break. I guess that's one way to live. Although, that program is a little overkill. What's up, Sugumi? I think I finally found that flower. Look at this. Oh. It's called a silent snow melt. It's a rare flower that only blooms at high altitudes. Is this the one you saw? Yeah, this is the one. That's incredible. I can't believe you found it with such little info. This flower's natural environment is different from Suo's climate, so it took some time to find. What does that mean? It blooms on cold high mountains, so the temperature in your garden is too high. Growing it would be difficult. Oh, I guess that's why they always wilted. No, it's amazing that the flowers bloomed at all. I would like to try growing them myself, but... Is there a problem? Oh, you did say it was a rare flower. Yes. You can't normally get seeds or sprouts. There isn't any data about its natural habitat either. There isn't any information about how to collect them yourself or where to look. I'm stuck. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. If they were in my garden, that means they probably grow somewhere in New Himuka. I... I want to search for this flower. Why? Honestly, I felt bad about leaving all the searching to you, so I looked into it a little myself. The gardener who planted this flower already passed away, so I haven't got a single clue where he got it. That's sad. I'm sure he was good at what he did. Yeah, he spent a lot of time and care to raise it in our garden, and I figured out why I remembered this flower in the first place. After my mom died, I was really sad for a very long time. The old gardener... He knew she liked those flowers, so he planted them for me. I see. So I'm glad I know their name at least. Thank you. But you haven't seen the actual flowers yet. It must be frustrating. Still, that's good enough for me. Thanks to your thorough research, I can look at pictures of the flower whenever I want. You want to see the real thing, don't you? I'll check some more. Huh? Oh, well... I'd like to see it if I can. But you don't have to go out of your way. I promised I would find it. So, I don't want to give up. Okay. Oh Thanks, God, Sugumi. Bitch. And I'll help in any way I can. Okay. Goddamn flower. She was really excited. <clears throat> she can be pretty stubborn sometimes. I didn't know that about her. Although, the fact that she let me see her like that means she's starting to open up. That makes me kind of happy. Are there any... problems? Um, I think things are fine right now. If you need anything, just tell me. I want to help you. I may not be very useful, but I'm here for you. I understand you a 
moment of my... I think I've gotten to know you better, too. We're the same. think that's true. I'm not built to be especially kind. You don't even realize it. That's what makes you cool. Oh, I, um, don't take it weird. I just think you're cool as a friend. You fucking lying bitch. Recently, I've been thinking how much I've gotten to know you. Me too. I thought I already knew you, but I keep finding something new. Where's Gamma? Gamma, there you are. I'll get to you in a minute. How have you been feeling lately, Yuito? I'm feeling great. Thanks for asking. Of course. Make sure to rest when you need it. Part of being OSF is taking care of your body. <clears throat> See you around. Are you going to work out now? Yes, my daily routine. Would you like to join me? Light exercise is good for maintaining your health. You're right. Okay, I'll work out with you. Maybe you can make a training program for me. I would be happy to. I promise to make the program that best suits your body type and fighting style. Great, thanks. Weirdo. Ugh, I'm beat. I'm so thirsty. Do you want some water, Luca? <sighs> no, you should drink it. I have this. What is that? A special protein drink that I concocted. It's best to drink it within 45 minutes of exercising. I've never had one. Is it good? I made it strawberry flavored, so it's easy to drink. The intake of protein is essential for building muscle. Not only do you work out, you even worry about your nutrition. That's amazing. Protein is well known to people who like exercise. It's nothing to be surprised about. It's not just that. The program you just went through was pretty hard. You're really stoic about it. Why do you want to train so much? Well, because I'm small. When compared to those around me, I'm always at a strength disadvantage. So I want to do all I can to lessen that disadvantage. A strength disadvantage? But why does that matter? There's almost no one as good as you in a real fight. You are a Septentrion, and you have top-class strength when it comes to a fight with powers. I do not want to rely solely on my power. Why not? You have an amazing one. I don't see the problem in relying on it. Let me put it another way. Power is something you are born with. It cannot easily be changed. However, muscles are different. The harder you work, the stronger they become. Isn't that amazing? Huh. Um... I guess it does seem pretty amazing, maybe. Yes, you're beginning to understand. Also... My brother is always ahead of me. No matter how much praise I get, I can never equal him. That makes me want to work hard. I see. I definitely understand that. Thank you for saying so. Since you are here, I'll tell you my secret. What is it? Wait just a moment. This is the backpack you always wear. <gasps> That's heavy. What's in this? I've made adjustments to my daily routine to train my muscles. I have weights inside my clothes as well. You call them adjustments, but it sounds like torture to me. These extreme methods might be the secret to his strength. Will you put some weights in my clothes too? Of course. They are custom made to be removable. So I will put this here, and there you are. Great. Now, I'll try to walk. 
Whoa! Oh, my body is swaying just from moving a little. <laughs> it's not very heavy, but it will be difficult until you are used to using your core. You can borrow them if you like. Now, I'll do another set. You can keep going? Yes, I still have a lot left to do. You can take a rest if you are tired. That's a Septentrion for you. I can't believe he always wears weights. But there's something kind of desperate about the way he's exercising. I feel like he's pushing himself too hard. Can he really handle it? Well, if he can, he's kind of fucked. I never expected you to be so odd, Yuito. Huh? Really? I thought I was pretty normal. What is normal in the OSF is not what most people call normal. It's very intriguing. I think I'm starting to understand you a little better. Really? I'm so happy to hear you say that. Okay, nothing from Gamma. I think that's everybody. I should try to get a little rest. Mm -hmm. A 
message from Major General Fubuki? It's Fubuki. I want an update on your situation. Rendezvous where we met previously. I got a message from Major General Fubuki. Did everyone else get it too? I did. I did too. I think he's talking about the safe zone. He said he's under surveillance, so I am sure he just wanted to play it safe. But Major General Fubuki is with Spring Pharmaceuticals, right? Those ampules. Do you think he knows about that factory? It would be strange if he didn't. He might have a purpose for calling a meeting so soon afterwards. The fact that the OSF hospital prescribed the drugs must mean the government's getting products from that factory in some shape or form. Could Major General Fubuki be the go-between? Does that mean he's an enemy too? Even after everything he's done for us? Hmm. It could just be one of the ways he goes about pretending to obey the government. We can sit here and doubt his intentions all day, but we're better off just asking. You have a big heart, Yuito. Your trusting nature is one of your most likable features. I should really follow your example. It's because he's sincere. I think our skepticism might provide him a nice balance. <laughs> that might be true. I don't know how many phases there are to this. <laughs> Sorry to call you out here. While I accepted Luca's generous invitation the last time, I feel it would be dangerous for me to frequent your hideout. There's a good chance the team surveilling me will notice. We appreciate your consideration. Wataru told me what happened in Ceyron. I've also given the government a report that won't affect our activities. What? Is that safe? Your family is spring pharmaceuticals. That's precisely why I did. Reporting my own family's wrongdoings only gets the government to trust me more. Besides, Karin and I were the first ones to propose that research facility. What? I think you already know about Alice. She's still being held in that facility as an other. We enticed Ceyron in order to protect her, knowing full well they would abuse their research. The results of which were the ampules and the uprising. We were fools. What's going on with this country? Ceyron may have incited an uprising, but there's still a new Himuka city just like ours. Suo's conducting human experiments, and Ceyron is basically doing the same thing. All of it being done to develop new weapons to fight the threat of the others. One chose to strengthen powers, and one explored a method to control the others themselves. What are others, anyway? I've heard they suddenly began appearing after the Spring of Extinction, but not much is known about them still. That's true. I guess the only other thing we know is that they're created in the Extinction Belt. Some are saying they're wild animals that experience sudden mutations, but are they really wild? It's very possible that the government is hiding what they actually are. That is the crux of it. Huh? Even the public can sense something different about the others. So, focusing on that point will nullify the government's personality rehabilitation efforts. Like exposing a government secret to every new Himuka citizen? Just like my brother did in the uprising. Exactly. Karan and I once plotted to send a video of a human at the moment of being metamorphosed straight to the minds of every citizen. But we couldn't find any definitive video to serve as our evidence, and I was hampered after they threatened Karan. So that's why you let the government turn you into a spy? Yes. But now they should have Nagi's data from when Naomi was metamorphosed for research purposes. They took his memory when they subjected him to personality rehabilitation. Now that you mention it, Nagi seemed like he had no idea about Naomi's metamorphosis after he was discharged from the hospital. But wouldn't that cause brain damage? Extracting a specific memory is a dangerous process, but that's hardly even a concern to them. You all have the same memory of her metamorphosis, but attempting to digitize and extract it is too risky. That's why we need Nagi's stored memory data. It's already been extracted. 
We can send the data via our Habaki to every citizen as proof of the government's inhumane acts. The people are ready to hear it. Can you access it? Yes. I received permission to enter the secure site while you were heading out to Ceyron on your last assignment. I've been provided with a one-time use pass. Nagi's stolen memory. Where is it stored? I think they're storing it in the old OSF hospital you infiltrated before. I'm sorry for not having more concrete intel, but that facility was used to research powers. It's very likely it's there. Could you infiltrate the old hospital after the platoon has been reorganized? Reorganized? Uh, I forgot about that. I'm... I'm staying in Yuita platoon. This isn't... This isn't the world I want either. I see. So Hanabi is the only one that needs to be transferred. No, I'll stay too. Are you sure? Staying with us could mean being targeted by the government. Then we'll deal with it if it comes to that. After all the awful things we learned, I can't just sit here and do nothing while my friends are trying to do something about it. You don't care if it brings trouble to your family? No. And I'm actually starting to suspect that it wasn't just my uncle who knew, but my father too. Thank you, Hanabi. Your help means a lot to me. I'll leave you to recover Nagi's memory from Naomi's metamorphosis. I'd like to go myself, but I don't want them revoking my access to Arahabaki, so I have to lay low for now. You've made a lot of waves, Yuito. You need to be careful. This will be your second time infiltrating the hospital. Yes, I will. By the way, I can send you some data to help you bypass the old hospital security system. I may not be as good as my sister, but I can still put together a program or two. Please use this to aid your infiltration. Thank you. Well, good luck. Obtained Fubuki's program. I'm with you, Commander Yuito. I'm really... Everything you have. It's still tight. Uh -huh. 
so much time with each other, it almost doesn't feel right when we're not.
Don't do it, huh? We're always together. Does that mean you rely on me? Uh, no. No, it doesn't. Do you need help? I need your help! Thank <laughs> you. 
Now die! There. I can still fight. Yuito. We won't be able to move forward if we use my power, Yuito. Surrounding it. Good luck. Down the beach. 
If I get five, I can get that. This is just like all attacks now. I need to get the brain field done, support, and um, brain drive before I worry about like the expand here. Yeah. 
you need help? Watch the enemy.
God, so many of these memory memorandums or whatever the fuck. I need your help. Here we go. Let's regroup. Something like oil. Don't get on you. Shut 
So, hopefully, hopefully I'm nearing the end of it. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Right before, so. It doesn't look like they're storing data anywhere. I don't even see anything resembling research equipment. I think the facility is underground, but there weren't any stairs leading down from the first floor. We'll just have to comb the area ourselves. 
If this is where they conducted his personality rehabilitation, Nagi's data should be here. I wonder if Nagi managed to get away. I had all of you there to rescue me, but he was alone. You're still as kind as ever. Nagi! You did come back. Of course you did. I mean, we're best friends, aren't we? Looks like Nagi received even more personality rehabilitation. Because Nagi was regaining his original personality the last time we saw him? Personality rehabilitation. You traitors against glorious new Himuka are the ones who need rehabilitation, not me! There's no need to worry, Yuito. They specifically told me, you need to be alive when I bring you in! Well, shit. Stop it, Nagi! I don't want to fight you! Then come with me! We would never fight of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? <laughs> Don't let the personality rehabilitation control you, Nagi. You can tell it's your friend. That's why I'm doing this. I'm steering my friend to the right path. You know how to get played this way. If you don't use SAS, you have a chance. Son of a bitch, stop moving. I've seen a lot of people whose personalities suddenly change like that. I should have started investigating earlier. I think you did. You would have been personality rehabilitated too. What's your best to stop him from now? What's the enemy? Nazi changed. Now there might be an opening. Hello? It doesn't seem like it. Like, I can't get close. I can still fight. Yes, I power. Not yet. Was he hitting me? Like, seriously. Oh. There's no fucking way. Stop it, Nagi. I don't want to fight you. Stop then come running, with me. You we wouldn't have to fight this. Of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? I didn't know Nagi could fight this one. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. Don't let the personality rehabilitation control you, Nagi. You would 
so is your friend. That's why I'm doing this. I'm steering my friends the right path. Nori! I've seen a lot of people whose personalities suddenly changed like that. I should have started investigating earlier. If you did, you would have been personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop him from now. What the fuck? Why is he hitting so goddamn hard? Use this. Stop it, Nagi. It doesn't help me fucking run you. like a goddamn then come pussy. With me. We wouldn't have to Stop. fight then. You need of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? Yeah. 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 Don't use SAS, you don't have a chance. Don't let the personality rehabilitation control you, Nagi. You yeah. so is your friend. Like, I can't That's fucking lay a damn hand on it. Right <laughs> That's all we're fucking doing is chasing. I've seen a lot of people whose personalities suddenly change like By that. By the time we catch him, he's started fucking investigating earlier. already attacked. You did. There ain't shit yeah. we can yeah. fucking do. Yeah. Let's do our best to stop him now. Yeah. Not over yet. Yeah. I'm using this, Jimmy. A smoke screen? Use clairvoyance in the town. We'll be able to see Nagi. Wait, I'm what the sure. fuck? Come I on. hit him! Oh, fuck you with this shit, dude. Yeah, th nice deep shot. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why would I have that now? <laughs> oh, right. This ceiling. He misses it looks mommy. like the hospital room from issues. when I was a kid. The smell, Kyoka too. Kyoka picked up on it. She's like 40 years old and smell. she wanted to be his mom. Where am I? Huh? I can't use my powers? You can't use your powers here. Those restraints are designed to nullify your abilities. You're such a fool. All you had to do was play the patriotic hero, and you would have had the world on a platter. Who are you? Just a humble staff member of this facility. We've met a number of times when you were a child, but I'm sure you don't remember. He a robot we did? With mommy have you forgotten Japan about your time here in the hospital with your mother? <laughs> Which means this is still somewhere inside the old OSF hospital. Where are my friends? No idea. Your friends are outside my jurisdiction. I'm in charge of duds. You mean people without powers? That's right. I was in charge of the experiments involving you and the Travers brothers. Unlike Karin and Luca, it seems like your psionic hormone levels are dropping. What? Now that I think about it, your psychokinesis was activated under you use your power. I need to run some tests before I ask you any questions. I'm sure you've experienced episodes of sudden memory loss or having difficulty remembering your childhood. Wait! Please, explain it to me so I can understand. <sighs> it's simple. You were born a dud. Then you were hospitalized here with your mother because this was still the OSF hospital at that time. We know that duds are capable of acquiring potent powers. The country sends all duds to this hospital where we run medical experiments on them. I'm a dud? I had no powers? In any case, it's time to go back to sleep. <laughs> Damn it! I can't stay awake. Yuito! Are you alright? Major General Fubuki? Uh, how...? The program he gave us was able to tap into the facility's surveillance camera feed. I knew it would be dangerous infiltrating this...
connection's having a bit of an issue. Place. I made sure I would be available if something happened. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are all right. I'm sorry, Major General. We couldn't get Nagi's memory data. Uh, right, Nagi. What happened after that? You suddenly... Okay, there we go. Collapsed, and Nagi... He took you, <clears throat> and then used you as... as a hostage. We were afraid of hurting you, so we couldn't attack him. We were locked inside a room. There was... strange equipment. I think it was for personality rehabilitation. The Major General Fubuki showed up before any of us were rehabilitated, so we're all okay. You don't have to worry about us. Sorry. You're always rescuing me. Thanks, guys. Wait. It looks like... others are gathering. I've disconnected the alarm, but they should already know Yuito's trying to get away. We have to escape the hospital. I've already shared the way out with Wataru. I'll hold them off here. But... Don't forget, I'm a Septentrion. I can handle myself. Take this. Don't lose it. No matter what. What is it? I'll tell you when we get out of here. Now go. You'll only get in my way. Okay. I don't see any safe area near here for teleporting. We have to run. Motherfucker, Got your teleportation Please, sucks be careful. Ass. I had no power. I'm more confused than shocked. It's too much to take in. <laughs> Nagi must have attacked Yuito under orders from the new Himuka government. We should consider him as being completely under the government's control. You can't see it, but the other is still around. Use SAS to find it. 